Oof, Germany's brought tanks. That's not a good idea for that. Gardez vos rangs. Vos ordres. Attention. Attention. Naval invasion of Oslo being. Oh, Stavanger has. Oh, Christian Sun's already fallen. Well, I guess the troops that I sent down there never arrived. Bugger. And now there are German submarines crushing the coast and stopping my supply. Hey, RN! Over here! I would love to have Grand Assault, please. And... We definitely don't have the industry for mechanized. Maybe better the recon? Could go for atomic research for even more technology research speed. Let's do that. Central Africa stays with Vichy. The colonial administrators of our Central African possessions have collectively renounced Charles de Gaulle's radio appeal, calling it an act of treason aimed at undermining the authority of the legitimate government. Sources indicate that they also fear a reaction of the native population should they switch sides, worrying about a lack of support if some of the more independent-minded people decide to take an attempt to break free. All of them combined aren't fit to be called men. We've got a landing here, but no supply. Hell, Germany is investing really heavily into Norway. Um, so some of these new Hi. units. Gardez-vous. Vos ordres. We need to make sure that these units, these disparate sections, cannot, like, combine against us. Western Africa remains in Vichy. Although the local administrators in West Africa were broadly supportive of coming over to your side, it appears that a significant portion of the European population in the area was not. With public pressure mounting, the local governors have forced to publicly declare their support for the Vichy government. All of them combined aren't fit to be called men. We're having a great deal of luck here. You can see how weak these units are. That's the impact of supply. And this is the impact of submarines. Just 2% of this unit have made it. Ouch. That was a few losses. Madagascar remains a Vichy. The governor of the island has appealed to his citizens to remain calm and follow the orders of the legitimate government in Vichy. It appears that there is little discontent in the island and most inhabitants going along with his order. Yes, please do. Okay, now we're going to want the logistics reduction from Hunsinger. Kingdom of Croatia has capitulated. Tomislav Natali has announced the Croatian nation could no longer withstand the pressure of the overwhelming presence of Italian forces committing travesties throughout the country.
Looks like they might actually break through here. Bougez-vous! North Africa remains with Vichy. While few in our camp had any hope that the stronghold of Vichy power in North Africa would switch sides, the ferocity of the refusal still came as quite a shock. Labelling Charles de Gaulle as a traitor and a madman, the local governor has vowed to support the Vichy government by any means necessary. So Central Africa has been the most cordial so far. No, they broke through. Whoops, no, don't do that. Attention. These better not be my ships. Nope, these are the British going after the Germans. Good. And actually, with... Uh, what are they called? Civilian factories, I could actually buy oil now. So I could try to do a bit of a blockade of Norway. Ah, oh, you've landed again. Um. Attention. Yeah, when you're done, go for it. Tanks are staying there. I mean, they're going to run out of supply, so I'm kind of happy to just leave them be. There's not a huge amount that they could do there. Yugoslavia has capitulated. Prince Paul has announced the Yugoslavian nation can no longer stand the pressure of the occupying Hungarian forces committing travesties throughout the country. These are dark times. Yeah, we did lose two. Oh, Stavanger, you're right. Yeah, unfortunately, they've now got three ports. Bergen, Stavanger, and Kristiansand. But Oslo has not yet fallen. Can you not counterattack? All we are doing here is trying to starve them of supply. They're about to link up here. Not a huge amount I can do about that, though. Is there any value in holding this long salient? Yes, because I suspect that they can get a lot more supply through Stavanger and Kristiansand than they can Bergen. Bergen would be easy to intercept supply convoys. So I'm trying to stop Bergen being supplied by these two ports. Super low on the infantry equipment again. Ah, oh, this is hard. But we're trying to do our bit. Do not attack that. Libya can't be capitulated. I own the only port. 
Like I said, they're gonna run out of supply. The nearest port is over here in Benghazi. Tripoli has my three divisions in it. They're not taking it. Although this place could definitely do with the commander. Castano will do. Because remember, the longer that they stay there, the less supplies they have. Once they run out of supplies, they have no organisation, I can just kill them with no losses. So I think what I might start doing is trying to get some military factories so I can make support equipment, and specifically support equipment so that I can build maintenance companies in all of my divisions. If I have maintenance companies then I can start stealing their stuff. See these guys are just attritioning out. Oh you mean in Norway? Nah, we're fine. As long as we keep an eye we're okay. So I think I will just band you. Attention. Because again, we're just trying to make this war as expensive as possible for the Germans. The more that they need to expend here, the less we need to fight them elsewhere. And the less troops they're going to have when they go after the Soviets. Like, this is probably 20 divisions, maybe even 30. Italy lays claim to Greek territory, citing the Roman Empire as a forerunner in the modern Italian state. Italy has claimed that an independent Greek state has no right to exist. Instead, the Greek territories must acknowledge Italian supremacy in the Aegean, or have it seized by force. Outrageous claims. Also, the fact that we still own Oslo means that Norway is, like, not even close to capitulation. Norway has killed more Germans than Poland. Norway is kicking their ass at the moment. And it looks like the Royal Navy is now finally defending the uh, seaways here. There we go, they're all dead. Thank you, Britain. Did we ever take Caledonia? Uh, you. you are about to. guess that was an attack against Oslo. That's a point. Where are my planes? Okay, I don't have any. Good, because that's fuel I don't want to pay. You are trying to attack again. Please don't. And again, sinking even more. Oh, those are submarines. All this organization. They're on half organization because they have so low supply here. Ethiopia stabilized. Britain was pushing them back, but Italy has rebounded. Also, if we deny Germany Norway, then one, we'll get Norwegian shipping on our side, and they do actually have a fairly substantial navy. And two, Germany can't get the um, naval bases up here, which means they can't hit the North Atlantic with submarines. So there are multiple strategic reasons to fight for Norway. But the main thing is it's just an equipment black hole. T.W. I think I saw Vichy's divisions in Norway. Do I have a bonus against Vichy? No. Vichy shouldn't have divisions here. They're not in the war. Oh, they have uh, volunteers, probably. How's China doing? China is starting to struggle. Although Japan is taking a while getting as far as they have. Oh, good grief. China's lost 5.1 million. Japan hasn't even lost 1 million yet. 462,000. But China still has about 70 divisions. 
35 factories, and the longer that China holds, the more damage they do to Japan, the better. Japan can't manage manpower losses, China can. Well, I guess we should probably research the Panhard. Why not? Right, how's the espionage going? Slowly. Just waiting for the intel to come in. This is also a great opportunity for the Royal Navy to inflict a bunch of casualties on the Kriegsmarine. Looks pretty much like the historical Japan-China borders for 1940. Yeah, they seem to have gotten the Chinese war down pretty well. We can now infiltrate the civilian administration. Do we want to? I don't think so. No. All today. That's not very helpful. Oh, son of a bitch. The two seconds I wasn't watching, they may take it. Italy declared war on Greece. Deals in me. Right, time to back off. What's all? Gardez vos rangs. Gardez vos rangs. This is what happens when you distract me. Deals in me. Oh no, no. Okay. The Norwegians there are still gonna hold. How the hell did they break through here? Deals in me. That's half of my army. Damn it! us. Attention. Aux ordres. Nine divisions lost. Nine. Is it worth banning Oslo? I don't think so. Oslo's actually been proving to be fairly easy to hold on to. Definitely, suffer. I cannot afford to lose nine divisions. I really didn't want to do any saving and reloading, but after that, just because I was distracted looking at China. It's not a lost cause, it's only because I was distracted here. That's not a fight we should have lost. Ah, sod it. There's no way you're going to win up there. It's not about winning. It's about doing enough damage until America and the Soviets join. And that is something we can do. They're already taking it there. Damn it. How long did I have time going? World times. Norway doomed to fall because Frenchman was looking at China. <laughs> Yeah, see, they're attacking here. 
There are things I can do to stall this. Even if it is doing that. Political violence returned. What? After a brief period of calm, with popular support for Charles de Gaulle rising to unprecedented heights, it appears the endemic political violence between the communist and reactionary groups has returned. Police report a disturbing increase in politically motivated crimes against people or businesses, bringing to mind the chaotic days we thought we'd left behind. All because I think I'm one point of stability too low. <sighs> Fine. Where the hell do you guys arrive? Continue d'avancer. Intervention in Africa. Done. Here we go. National Committee gives us war support and legitimacy. Few would have believed that our cause could, could succeed, but now we are at last strong enough to declare the formation of a fully functional government in exile, ready to take control of any French territory liberated from the enemy. Gears in me. Enforcement's arrived. Good. But yeah, I think it's time that we backed off. This is becoming rather dangerous. Wait, why are you all retreating? Really? You didn't reinforce? This is untenable. I mean, we're giving as good as we're getting, but we're getting kind of owned. <laughs> Alright, more reinforcements arrived. That's good. I'm gonna need to send even more. They found the one weak spot in this line. How long is this left? Three days. We can't pull back any further. Time to go. Oh shit, we are actually out of command power. Um. Hmm. Alright. See, this time I will accept the defeat because I was actually watching. to have suffered there, though. Continue in me. 
vos ordres. Problem is just there, completely overwhelming air support. Where's the RAF when you need it? Oh, uh, they're fighting the Battle of Britain. Of course they are. Early war problems. Italy declared war on Greece. Greece has joined the Allies. They do have a bunch of reinforcements coming in to support. Drat! Can I disband you? No, not really. Continue d'avancer. Well, we're definitely causing casualties, but we're taking quite a few now, too. Jill has another ability. Guerrilla Fighter doesn't help. And that's it, we're out of manpower again. Attention. Time for you to try and escape. Save yourselves! Again! Seems to be coming up quite a few times this campaign. Alright. Unfortunately, this seems to be a large portion of uh, Norway's forces dying there, too. Fighting in Norway is doing more damage to me than Germany. I'm not sure that's true. Let's take a look. Can I see? I can't see how much they're suffering. Because I reckon we are doing a bunch of damage in terms of um, equipment. But then again, this is Germany we're talking about, and they do have a pretty big Attention. industry. Oh, we've taken Caledon. No, we haven't. Naval superiority. I forgot about the naval superiority. <sighs> Australia. Can you get me Australia? <laughs> naval superiority here. Uh... Oh, I still have my cruiser submarine. Hell yeah. Send in the cruiser submarine. And get me naval superiority. 